Hey guys, so the pros and cons of a Fitbit. Basically with a Fitbit, the, the whole benefit that you can get out of a Fitbit is that, I mean, if you look down at your wrist or you check your steps, for example, and monitoring that number is gonna help you reach a higher step count, um, that is where the Fitbit really shines. So it's not that there's anything special about it, but the habits that having that Fitbit on your wrist is going to promote. That's where the benefit of the Fitbit come in. Now, if you're gonna just wear a Fitbit on your wrist and not look at your step counts, not track anything, um, basically not use it for anything uh, to change your lifestyle, there's really no point. The whole point of the Fitbit is to get you moving in the right direction as far as habits go, checking your steps, um, maybe monitoring your heart rate if you felt like that was necessary, things like that. So the, there's nothing special about it except if it's used properly, it can move you in the right direction from a lifestyle standpoint. Now, as far as the Fitbit and sleep, uh, it monitors movement. So it can be a little bit misleading as far as uh, sleep quality goes because if you're someone who just moves in your sleep a little bit more, the way Fitbit tracks sleep is if you're not moving very much, technically you're sleeping, but if you're moving, technically you're awake. So there's a little bit of a flaw in it there. And I, I tell my clients with a Fitbit, if you wake up feeling satisfied with your sleep, feeling like you slept very well, but you look at your Fitbit and it says, you know, five and a half hours because you were moving a fair bit that night, don't, um, Go by how you feel more so than what the digit says on the Fitbit. If you are somebody that doesn't tend to move in your sleep very much, then awesome. Uh, the Fitbit's just probably going to be more accurate as far as sleep goes for you. So again, it's, it's kind of about habit formation overall. And if you're taking the piece of technology seriously and using it to your advantage, um, but just having it on your wrist and not implementing any of this stuff is basically, you know, is kind of useless. So hope that helped guys, um, you know, to Fitbit or not, you can, uh, you can use your iPhone if you have an iPhone um, or just download a step tracker. The, your phone is already tracking your steps. Um, the iPhone, for example, which I have, is in the My Health section and you can just click on the activity and uh, your, your steps are being tracked all the time. So you don't have to spend money on a Fitbit if you don't want to, but then again, you have to have your phone on you all the time if you want to track your steps accurately with uh, with your iPhone. So something to think about. Uh, hit me up if you have any questions. See ya.